Hey guys, welcome back again to Scarlet Nexus. When we last left off, we were basically finishing off the very last things of the bonds. And not only that, we uh, basically covered up all the quests that we needed to do from this phase. So we can possibly go through the last phase through Yuito. And then we can focus on post-game content. And here we are. Um, I'm just checking through the visual attachments for Yuito because I do remember that I have had missed a couple of them All right, uh, which is Gemma's and Su- and oh, I was about to say so anyway, that's, that's a lie it was Gemma's and Kyoka's the ones that I was missing from last time which is uh, Gemma's arm armor and and if I can see it again it was the white feather Corsage. So that's what exactly we're gonna do. Uh, Gamma, I don't need to change because this weapon. So let me see if if I need to change something similar. Something tells me that is, that isn't no. Because I mean that's what she's using on her hair. So okay. So if I just apply one by one through Yuito. So. Get rid of the glasses, I think. Okay, so I can use Gamma's arm thingy because of the ring. So let's see what he has to say. Oh, this armor is super cool. It symbolizes all the people you've saved with your power. That's how this looks to you? You're a very compassionate man, Yuito. <laughs> it sure is. That's cool. And let's see, let's see, where is it? I just had it right here. And there we go. White feather corsage. This corsage is so A corsage, mature. sorry. Beautiful, Kyoka. Did, did I put it on right? Yes, you look very nice. <laughs> Wearing paired accessories shows how close we are as friends. Oh. And that's basically it. Uh, that's basically all the gifts <laughs> that, uh, all the bond gifts, uh, attachments, uh, that we need, that we have. Yuito, you have my wood carving on you. So yeah, um, let's just repeat the dialogue from the wood carving. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, we've done all the quests so far because I know there's more after... You know, you know, post game. So, uh, yeah, I think the only thing we need to focus on in this video was to go through the last phase. Yeah, I can't believe we made it this far. Send you a story. I finally heard from Major General Fubuki. He asked us to head to Sumeragi Tomb right away. Apparently, the chief will be there. Kaito. Actually, what's my brother's status now? He's still the acting chief, but most of his authority has been transferred, and no one has seen much of him lately. My guess is that the government is going to make him take the fall for everything and abandon him. The chief might have decided to help us because he knows that's what they're going to do. As long as he helps us, it's fine. Now let's head to Sumeragi Tomb. Alright. Path to the future and freedom. Let's see what Yuito says here. Kaito. Kaito. So you finally made it. You want inside the Sumeragi tomb, correct? Right. In order to close the Kunad gate, there's something we need to check inside the tomb. If Karin really is inside, then he is the key to closing it. If, huh? Not only is everything circumstantial, it doesn't sound very credible either. Is this really what you choose to stake everything on? Yes. Very well. 
If you do indeed manage to save the world, it will reflect quite nicely on the Sumeragi name. Is that all that matters? Hanabi, it doesn't matter what he says, as long as he helps us. I've disabled the security for the entrance. Close the Kunad gate. I heard you stopped Togetsu's plan. You managed to avenge her. You did what I had set out to do. So, you knew about Mom's death? Dad and I. We vowed that we'd destroy Togetsu one day. This isn't what I imagined. But it looks like Dad and I got our wish. Kaito. Go. Do what you need to do. This is the path you've chosen. Thank you. Yakumo Sumeragi should be sleeping in here. Let's find out whether our theory was right. If it's actually the former Major General that traveled to the past. Sweet. So let's see what the levels are with the enemies this nearby. Hope they're not too hectic. Yes, remember this. Sumagi Tomb. When the Founding Fathers rest. So this is what it's like inside Sumeragi Tomb. I thought it'd be gloomier since it's a tomb. Yakumo's got a good thing going here. We need to go down. Those stairs go all the way down. I don't think there's any danger to worry about. For now. Let's take them. I don't see any other way down. Yuito Kasane, Major General Fubuki said he'd join you too. Should we go meet him? No, he said he can't head there right away, so he'll meet up with you later. Copy that. We'll go on ahead then. These stairs just go on and on. Ugh, what a pain. What's up with this place, Yuito? What? How's this my fault? I mean, it's your family's tomb, right? Install an elevator at the very least. Sheesh. Look, a giant mirror. We're just skipping this entire dialogue. Seems too. We already heard this from Kasani, so. Good job. Pretty sure you've reached the bottom floor. Oh, we finally made it. Looks like there's only a single path from here. There's a big space up ahead. That's probably where Yakumo is sleeping. I guess we just need to move forward. I was worried it might be a maze in here to prevent grave robbing. Stay on your toes. Just because nothing's happened so far doesn't mean that it... I just felt something in my brain. What? I didn't feel anything. What's going on? What's happening? Signal is deteriorating. Wataru. Damn. We lost the transmission. Where are we? Is this Suo's OSF headquarters? How did we get here all of a sudden? Oh, maybe there was some sort of teleportation trap. Just calm down and take a better look around you. Something doesn't seem quite right. The city looks a little off. This feeling. I remember it from before. Are we inside a brain field? That is certainly a possibility. Since I felt something interfere with my brain, this could be a measure to confuse intruders. Or... Others! This is what happened when we went to the Kronos Terminal. Get ready to fight. All right. You can do it. No big deal. I'll leave it to you. I'll buy you a soda later. I hit the outer shell. I think I can break it if I focus my attacks. That attack worked. Yes. There must be a weak spot. It'll take too long. 
long to chip away at its shell. Just use psychokinesis and hit it with some. I can hit it! Together! Our final one! This is the end! Yeah, now that, I, now that I'm here again, uh, I forgot to change <laughs> because uh, I want to use the Nexus drives of these two. There. That was everybody. That was relatively fast. <laughs> Seems like we managed to kill all the others around here, but our situation hasn't improved much. We haven't been able to reach Haruko or Wataru either. We should... Huh? Karin? Ta-da! As of today, Alice Ichijo is now an official member. Congratulations, Alice. The three of us are together again. It also seems like we have a mission for our new platoon. I'm going to show you two who the real star member is. I just hope the newbie's over-enthusiasm doesn't make her do something reckless. Oh, really? You know, I heard a certain somebody got written up for disobeying orders. Fubuki. <laughs> I mean, that was your 50th write-up. That's quite the milestone. How could I not share it? They say you're a shoe in for Septentrion, Karin, but I guess you've got some issues with your superiors. I don't intend to follow orders I don't agree with. <laughs> That's so like you. Oh, I guess that just means you'll have to climb to the top of the OSF. Sounds like too much trouble. I'm not interested in looking after people weaker than me. Fubuki can do all that instead. <laughs> You say that, but you always look after your friends in the end. You're usually more helpful than I am. I think you're more suited to run things than me. Actually, I bet you're really gunning for the position. Stop trying to hide it. <laughs> You've been gunning for the top position from the very beginning. <sighs> Listen to the two of you. Honestly, just take the top two positions and you're all set. That's a good idea. If we take the current organization and break them into regiments, Ooh. <laughs> Stop with the creepy laugh. Don't worry, I don't do it in front of anyone else. You'd do so much better in life if you just learned how to have an outside persona. Not having a facade is one of Karn's better qualities. Although, it wouldn't hurt you to learn to have one so you wouldn't get written up so much. <laughs> okay. What did we just see? Major General Fubuki. And Karin, right? And Aunt Alice? Oh, right. She was your aunt. The three of them were childhood friends. That brought back some memories. Funny, I had forgotten the color of Karin's hair back then. Now it's completely different from Luca's. That's right. It's a pretty rare phenomenon. So it may have something to do with my brother's powers. That looked like it was from when Alice first entered the Force. That would make it over 20 years ago. If this was a brain field, then I guess it would make sense for it to be affected by someone's memories or emotions. I'm not entirely sure what that was. But first we should figure out how to get out of here. Staying here won't help. Let's see what's up ahead. Alright. I got out of the way. Are we watching it? I think you're reading this space. All I can sense is that it's really fast. There's some familiar scenery mixed in too. The connection is so chaotic. Looks like that's the way the space works. This area must be connected to some other location as well. If it's covered in oil, it should burn with a little fire. I'm counting on you. We're gonna do this. I'm just rewatching it, uh, so I can see this like any particular theories I can pull over. There's still a lot more we don't know of uh, Karen. I've been told that obviously it's going to be, you know, touched upon on the DOC, so. It's going to be curious.
see. This one's stronger than the rest. Fall back and regroup. Are you all right? Yeah. Uh, well, thank you for saving me. Keep your guard up, idiot. <laughs> You're right. Sorry. How many times have you saved me now? Nobody's counting. <sighs> Are you two okay? Good. Looks like you're all right. Yeah, this idiot just messed up again. I handled it. There's the tough act again. You need to take better care of yourself. You're hurt. What? I'm sorry. You got hurt because of me. Let me take a look. <sighs> it's just a scratch. Alice is tired. Stay with her, Fabuki. I'm gonna check on the remaining teams. We'll need to regroup the platoon if we're gonna kill that other. Hey, Karin! <sighs> it's gone. That one also had to do with Karin. This field. Maybe it's something he generated. To prevent anyone from getting close to where he's sleeping? Even if that were the case, why show us these memories? I'd think he would rather keep them secret. I agree. My brother doesn't talk about himself much. Nor does he like to. The memories are probably mixed in subconsciously. I think being the level that we are and how fast we're going through this whole area. Um, this boss, I don't think it should be any any complications. And I think neither Karn. I think it's when, once I get to the VR mission, that's when I'm going to know the true pain. <laughs> I mean, who knows? Where are we now? Doesn't seem like we're any closer. Just look at the size of this place. How are they generating something so huge? This brain field feels much larger than what a single psionic should be able to generate. Huh? Unless if it's, you know, Karin. What is that? Use my 
have to. One hit crush. Everyone, don't let your guard down yet. Seems like we finally got it. Do you think it's just a coincidence that the other we saw from his memory appeared? I heard that being inside a brain field for a long period of time will eventually manifest your emotions and memories. That makes sense if Karin is the one who made this field. That memory where he protected Alice must be affecting things. Then staying here any longer could be dangerous. Yes, we should hurry. It seems like the field goes on further ahead. All right. That's another boss done. Apparently, the extinction belt has dropped near the surface. This has never happened before. With all these others around, this is turning out to be a tough mission. What? The other particles. <gasps> Corin. <gasps> what?
Alice, is that you? That's when we know that he was trying to save her. Alice morphed into another after coming into contact with the extinction belt. I had no idea the extinction belt could drop that low and close to the surface. I've heard that it's a rare occurrence. I've never seen it drop that low myself. Hey, notice anything about that other? Yes. She was one of the ones who helped us fight alongside Naomi. I see. So that other really was her. Did you guys meet Aunt Alice? I think she's supposed to be in Seiron's laboratory. We just figured it out now ourselves. Alice has already passed away. <gasps> if that's true, then Corrin used the red strings as soon as he found out about her death. Which means my brother is after... We'll know when we see him. There's no doubt that he's here. I know everyone has a lot of questions, but don't forget what we came here to do. We're here to get his help. Again. <laughs> I'm tired of my own incompetence. I failed to save her. Again. This history is unnecessary. If Ara Habaki was right, I can just start over from the beginning again. As many times as I need to. Use the red strings for Alice. What was that? It's like Karin's thoughts were inside my head. So him going back in time was to save Alice. What does he mean by as many times as he needs to? And he mentioned something about Arahabaki. Right. Even if he goes back to change the past, it doesn't necessarily mean Alice will be saved. The future is always uncertain. Once he determines he can't save her, he goes back to the past to change history all over again and repeats the process. So, he's going to keep jumping through time until Aunt Alice is saved? Wait. He time-traveled after that, right? But Alice is still dead at this time. He went back to the past, but history hasn't changed. So he failed? I've never seen my brother like that before. Do you think he'll listen to us? Either way, he's our only lead. We have to get him to cooperate. And here we are. I can freely. Actually, no. Place it here. Yeah. So we have this side by side. Oh, well, I guess it did took the double <laughs> the amount of time. So let's just uh, get right into it. I promise this video is gonna make it's gonna be long. This is Sumeragi Tomb. Yuito, God, I finally got through. I was worried after we lost our connection. I'm glad you're all okay. It seems like we managed to make it out. Karn might be close. Oh, he's there. All right. Upside down rain. Is that Karin? Or should we call him Yakumo? He really was here. I guess he woke up from his cold sleep. Not exactly. Wait, some kind of device is active here.
What? <laughs> Yakumo? What's going on? There are two Karans? Why are you here? What is going on? Yeah, that's what I would like to know. I tried to travel back 2,000 years ago, but was rejected. What? Explain to me why the time travel failed. I helped you back at Arahabaki's secure site. However... You... What are you talking about? Hand over all of the information. Absorbed? Looks like I was right to worry. That's what happens when you meet yourself. I haven't the slightest clue of what's going on, but does this mean Karin failed to travel to the past? What is this memory? So I do need his power after all. Now, what are you doing in this place? I would like to know what that vision we of the memory to close the is gate. when you go back Please in time help us. like through what we that what different timeline when you travel 2000 years in the past you created an entanglement the kunad gate won't close as long as the entanglement still exists so we need you to come with us so we can unravel no no How tedious. I figured you'd resort to force. I guess even you couldn't maintain the red strings with your power. That's why you needed to copy it again. Don't bother resisting. I will obtain the red strings. Where did you even learn about the red strings? From Arahabaki. Or, more accurately, my own memory inside it. As you saw, we are one now. So Yakumo was connected to it while in cold sleep? How could they incorporate a living human into Arahabaki? Why are you so surprised? Do you know how many brains are living connections to Arahabaki? So it was a biocomputer comprised of brains like Babe. When our brains were being hacked at Arahabaki's secure site, and there was that weird brain field... It was all done by Yakumo. By you. It seems that way. The version of me that was in cold sleep used Arahabaki to generate that brain field in order to conceal this location. So you were connected to it from here, gathering all kinds of information over the last 2,000 years without anyone even knowing. I understand why you want to time travel, but that'll just create another entanglement. So what? I'll do whatever I have to do in order to time travel again. So you have no intention of helping us. Just listen, please. I know you have your reasons, and I know there's a whole lot going on between New Himuka and the moon. But we can't fix anything if the world ends. We need to make things right. We need to create a new future that won't bring about our destruction. This timeline isn't worth saving. I will change the past, and I will make it work this time. I understand that you want to save Alice, but that... I don't need you to understand. <laughs> Final boss time. Once more. You will help me. Even if I must break you to obtain your aid! I won't let you get in the way. I'll lend you my strength. Thank you. I'll leave it to you. We're here because we survived many battles. Remembering our experiences should help us. It's not a <laughs> My god, Kara. I'll make you submit. Now, Luca! You're not ready for this. I made 
The battle between two teleporters. <laughs> Fight. You're not even on the team, Carlo. How about this? Together, You're smarter than you look. Ah, maybe I may be gone too overboard. I you were tougher than that. Thanks. Thank Sorry you, Shiji. <laughs> Car <laughs> behind me. But yes, I'll let I'll, I'll let I'll let you revive him. Get ready. No biggie. What? I oh, teleported. There we go. He's done for. He's not done yet. No matter how much you use your power alone, all it takes for us is to use the SAS. We won't let you get away with this so easily. Please, just talk to us, Karin. Shut up! You're all so endlessly annoying! What? Karin? Karin? What's going on? I see. Two thousand years. No. Thousands of memories and hopes. <sighs> Nothing more than stepping stones to me. You, this world, and still. Four deities. No way. 
Karin, is that you? Get ready. All right. All right. What the heck are these things? I gotta be careful with those. Look at those damn- oh my god. Through it. Hey, give me some. I think we can both be stronger. Try connecting SAS. If you can break that crystal, I bet you could use it with your psycho to regroup. Thank you. I'll leave it to you. You can do it. I'm definitely one shotting these uh, these guys so Okay, we're not doing that bad. For that second hit. So let's leave one more and that's basically it. Okay, this one I needed. There you go. It would be funny if I one shot this enemy. Okay, I do. Here 
Uh, I think that should be enough. For one crush. No? Ah, just a bit more. There we go. And that was very quick. <laughs> just from level 90. 99. And we still got that last bit as well. Where when everybody comes in. Corin, please do not stand up. You can't take any more. Corin. I won't. I won't let things end here. What is this? Everyone, be careful. Something's... What? Everything turns dark. Karen, are you by any chance over here? I'm going to save you, Alice. I promise. What's happening? At this rate? No, calm down. Everyone is probably in the same situation as me, fighting somewhere. I can't let myself get scared now. Not yet. Even if I'm here alone, everyone's thoughts are connected to me. I'm not alone. I won't lose to a soul enemy like you. I'll protect you, Yuito. Guess you can't handle things without me. Here. <laughs> Dodge all you want, Karen. I'm just waiting on you for <laughs> the perfect moment of you to get hit.
Get lost! I will stop my brother! I'll be your shield! Current! Am I late to the party? Yuito, strike back! Let's abuse him. Where is he? Why no? Oh, he's teleporting. Come on, I'm waiting. Rainfield, just for the sake of it. <laughs> now that we're here, he won't be doing whatever he pleases. Bring you his own. As long as we work together, we'll be fine. Yeah, we're counting on all of you. With everyone by my side. Be so much stronger. Why? I'll do my best for you. I mean, you were for a while like that. I will never accept this world. How could I? I refuse to accept it. I made it in time. Kasane. Now, seeing how this is different, like, this is my Kasane. other fear as well. You saved my life yet again. Even though that I see that Yuito's no and Kasane's side happening I mean, in this, you know, it's like the same time. Like, I feel like that it's like different at the same time because Always have been. you see the certain right. points of his difference, uh, the, the the difference between the two. So my, I think, because so of all this seems. time travel thing, I think these two are like. Different timelines that Karen has gone through repeatedly. <laughs> At this point, obviously, it's like the same, but you can see that, like, Kasane was the one who's doing all, all the fighting, or Yuito was doing the whole of fighting. Yuito! Let's do it! Multiverse. I'm never going to stop. Next time. Next time I will not fail. There won't be a next time. It's not just our power. It's all of our powers working as a team. As one. Our bonds give us strength. Courage! Line from the white light. <laughs> Not like this. If I lose here, it will all have been for nothing. I have but one wish in this world, and it is denied to me. 
give up. You fought and lost. We're done here. You don't have to keep doing this, Karin. Yes, I do. I can still... <coughs> Karin! Out of my way, Fabuki! Please! It's time to stop this. I never knew how much pain you bottled up inside. Damn you. Listen to me! Please, Karin. You've suffered long enough. I beg of you, put this burden down. Alice would never want you to torture yourself like this. Shut up! Karen, the world is cruel, but you have to find a way to live within it. This world without Alice. You just have to accept it. You must. We both do. Live on. Live for her. Disguising his tears from the rain. Please, we need your help. I'll ask you once again. Come to the Kronos terminal with us and unravel the entanglement. I know the pain of never being able to see a loved one again, so I won't ask you to accept it willingly. But I can't let you have your way. I don't want to destroy the future of this world. You went back to the past repeatedly, since no matter how hard you tried, you didn't get the result you wanted. Think of the people who care about you. End this for their sake. Join us. Help us protect our future. Help us build a better tomorrow. So this is what they mean by... the end. Then... that leaves me with only one choice. So you'll do it? I'll grant you your wish. However, are you sure you only want to close the Kunan Gate? You should have already realized its potential, Fubuki. You mean Kaito Sumeragi's plan to have the Kunan Gate consume the Extinction Belt? Oh, I see. We close the Kunan Gate, and at the same time take care of our other problem. But the plan my brother spoke of isn't feasible. I can't move the Extinction Belt with just my power. You mean our Gravikinesis? He's right. Even with our combined efforts, we're not strong enough to do that. Use our Habaki. If it's a biocomputer, then it might be possible to raise the cap of your powers by connecting your brains through the SAS. It is possible. Our Habaki has spent centuries running simulations. That shouldn't be a problem. You wanted to eradicate the extinction belt that turned Alice into an other as well. Will Yuito and Kasani's brains be able to withstand the extra output from Arahabaki? It's too dangerous. If there's even the slightest chance we can do it, we have to try. 
If it's theoretically possible, it's worth testing. I mean, we could use it with Karin. Then let's get ready. We'll need to pull some strings in order to use Ara Habaki. I'll look after Karin. We should head to the Kunad Gate. Does that make Karin my ancestor? No. I mean, maybe. See, that's not been touched a lot. Yuito? I'll be right there. I hope that does. I'm. I'm <laughs> yes, I'm saying the same things like I said last time, but and still like like I'm so close to getting to see that right now, so. Should be very curious. You're copying our powers, but only because we're letting you. Don't make me regret this, Karin. Don't worry. I'll close the Kunad gate. <laughs> our Habaki is ready. Karin should be ready too. We're going to connect through the SAS to help you while operating the link with Ara Habaki. Kasane, Yuito, we got this. We'll be supporting the two of you through the SAS as well. Let's all make this a success. This is going to tax all of you, but we need your help. I just know everything is going to work out. We can do it. We've been able to come this far because we've worked together. I've finished connecting Ara Habaki. All right, let's start. Opening SAS connection to Ara Habaki. Just focus on the extinction belt. Give it your all. I'll take care of controlling our Habaki. We've been connected to it for 2,000 years now. All right, then. Do it! Karin! We trust you. If you want to save this world, then show me the strength of your resolve! I just thought of something. Thank you. They're not precisely getting the rid of the extinction belt. No belt. But it's more From that here, we can go directly to the Chronos terminal. It's where right. the Chronos terminal Keep your is. Focus on the red strings. Now. 
Finally. The last one. <laughs> These years. I'll go to the past and find a timeline where Alice lives. No! You can't! Hold on! I told you to show me the strength of your resolve. This time, I won't claim Yakumo's life. The final entanglement will be eliminated. Karin, but that. You're going. To sacrifice your own life. I remember a series more. Like One last jump through time. No, don't do this! Corin! Corin, I. Where did he... What just happened? Look! The Kunad Gate! <laughs> it's still there! I'm <laughs> that would be funny. It's gone. N but we do need to fix, uh, fix those uh, infrastructure. Beautiful. It's partly, you know, tampered because of the Kunad Gate, but... Does you know. that mean... We... Pulled it off? Yep. The Kunad Gate no longer seems to exist. Karin. Yeah. That flood of red we saw everywhere. That was the red strings. Wasn't it? Which means... Mm. By traveling into the past, I wonder if we... Changed the world for the better. More than just the Kunad gate closing, you mean? Oh! Sorry about zoning out there, guys. Not used to the sky being pretty. Good to go, Haruka? I've been good to go for a while. Hurry up, Wataru. We saved the world, didn't we? We didn't just prevent the future apocalypse. We eliminated the extinction belt, too. Thanks to Karin. We won. Yeah. He made a new future. All of us did. Beautiful. I wish you could see it. That's it. Should I skip the end credits? <laughs>
Well, that was Yuito's side. I hope it doesn't skip the end. Like, you know, the other cutscene. Yeah, I'll see you. There we go. Okay, so this is what we could find out. We'll need to do a more thorough investigation, but most of it coincides with the history we know. But there's... Major General Fubuki, we've received several reports from all areas that the extinction belt has dissipated. And the Kunan Gate suddenly disappeared. What in the world happened here? I'll send a detailed report later. First, we need to contact the New Himuka government. Fubuki! You're here too? Alice? What? Why are you so startled? Oh, you're with them too, Hanabi? What? Alice. It's you. Wait. If you're here, then what about... Then... What about Karin? Karin? I don't know him. Do I? That was a plot twist the first time I seen it. It's like, wait, what? <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> that was still crazy. I will, I genuinely want to know what what he actually's done. Because th that basically just make him not born. I was thinking of going to Kunat Highway tomorrow since it's ready. I'd be happy if you'd all join me. <laughs> My first and last letter. <laughs> Camping? Are you? Did you just say that? You never gone camping? I mean, come on. <laughs> we go for a campfire, bro. Yeah, maybe not camping as much. Sorry, am I late? Major General Fubuki isn't here yet. Well, let's hang out until everyone gets here. The weather's nice enough. So here we are. Wow, what a journey. This episode has been quite, quite a, quite a huge amount. Major General Fubuki is late. Maybe we should contact him. By the way, don't you want to talk to everyone? I'll go talk with them. You should. I'll contact. Yes. All the brain field. These cherry blossoms are as beautiful as ever. Even though history changed, Seto and Nagi, their deaths weren't erased. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't hoping for a miracle. But I guess I need to face reality. Anyway, how have you been feeling? I'm fine right now. I can still use my power, but thanks for your concern. You're always worried about other people. I think that's amazing. You're still the same. You always look for the best in people. What? That was sudden. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> you took me in after my mistakes and showed me the right way. I'm grateful. I'm grateful to you too. You were always saving my butt. How also, about a hug? I think you and the others guided me a lot too. So... I guess that means we found a path we could take together. I see. Maybe Yuito Platoon felt so nice because you were the one in charge. You could call it a family. I don't have any family left, but the warmth I felt in the Yuito Platoon was just like it. Family? <laughs> then I guess you'd be the oldest brother. <laughs> I'm basically the same age as Chairman Sumeragi. 
Oh, but your body is still young. <laughs> you decided to stop acting old. Uh, right. I still have a lot of life to enjoy. <laughs> Don't make it sound like a chore. You have to ease up. You're so serious. Oh, right. We should go to that gyoza place again. I registered an account on their app. You too? I actually registered on the app as well. Okay, let's go try out some of the new stuff on the menu next time. Wow. It seems that you and Kasane have something to do with the fact that we're the only people who realize that history has changed. Yep. When the world was altered, we were connected to Red Strings users through SAS. So we became observers as well. Well, it's all speculation. Regardless, that time travel power is incredibly strong. If history was going to change, it could have made someone else head of PR. Ugh, I'm beat. You do seem pretty busy lately. You're booked for constant interviews, so you don't have time to slack off. If you understand, then take over for me. I really am going to quit being the PR person. I mean it. You say that now, but the fact that you're going to keep working in the OSF means that you're worried about Major General Fubuki. Oh boy, you really do have some obsession about siblings. How many times do I have to tell you I don't care about my brother that much? That obsession. much? Well, I'm a younger brother, so maybe I want to dream. Are things not going well with former Chief Kaito? The thing about family and siblings is that you can't cut ties that easily, even if you hate them. And sometimes those ties aren't cut when you thought they were. You know what I mean, right? So sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. I see. Those are some grim prospects. Yours aren't as complicated as mine. So you should help out Major General Fubuki. When the timeline changed so that Alice was alive and Karin never existed, I think it's been tough for both Luca and your brother. When the timeline changed so that Alice was alive and Karin never existed, I think it's been tough for both Luca and your brother. Ugh, good grief. Are you trying to say that since you're a younger brother, you understand people who have older siblings who make their lives difficult? <laughs> <laughs> well, more or less. I'm sure you didn't need me to point out that you and Major General Fubuki have a special bond. You're such a dreamer. We don't have anything like that. Besides, Fubuki isn't a kid. He decides how he wants to handle this history. I may be his sister, but it's not my place. I see. Yeah, you're right. Maybe it's none of my business. God, you never change. You're frustratingly good-natured. You know, you should be worrying more about yourself. <laughs> really? But that is also your strength. It has to be exhausting, though. No, don't worry. I don't plan on quitting the OSF for now. Fubuki isn't even part of my consideration. There's a lot of benefits to a stable job once you learn all the tricks to slack off. Okay, got it. You're staying because of Major General Fubuki. That's a relief. Good on you. <laughs> so you're going to pretend you didn't hear me. You might actually have what it takes to be a politician. Ouch. All right. Can I speak with Luca? Why is it not letting me speak to Luca? There we go. A world where Alice is alive. This is what Karin wanted. Though it is only in hindsight. What my brother did. I believe it was wrong. But I think I felt his thoughts for a moment at the end there. I don't agree with him. But for now, I am trying to accept this world. By the way, did you have your brain examined? Yeah. My power was acquired, so they said I have a very high chance of losing it. I see. Don't look so down. I said I don't care about it. I'll be all right. You really are strong. I must bolster myself so I don't fall into despair. You climbed the mountain with me, so I can't look glum in front of you. You don't have to pretend to be happy. Karin was... I know. And I appreciate that. 
However, I want to push my limits here. The fact that my brother vanished is confusing. But whatever this world is now, I did have a brother. If this is the world my brother wished for, then I want to watch over it and be a part of it as well. I want to be strong for that. Stronger than him. Yeah. Even if Karin was the one who created this current timeline, it's up to us to create the future. Are you planning on retiring from the OSF? Nothing gets past you. I've already put in my request. I'll be back to being a civilian after I take care of a few things. I can't stay in the OSF if I lose my powers. Even if you didn't lose your power, I think you would have still chosen retirement in order to protect this country differently from the OSF. You think so? You might be right. I realize that there are a lot of different ways to help people. Yes. We will both do what we can to create a better future. I want to use this given power to carry out my duties in the OSF. Even if it was given to me, I should use it to the fullest. I've come to terms with the many parts that make me who I am. You truly are a Septentrion. So reliable. I'll keep doing my best, too. We might be going about it differently, but I'm sure we're striving for the same future. Oh, it is important to maintain your physical health after your retirement if you're going to accomplish something significant. I can help you come up with a training regimen. <laughs> so that part of you hasn't changed. You really are amazing. Okay, don't make it too tough, though. <laughs> Feel so sorry for Luca. Hearing from both sides, Luca Sani and Yuito, I pity so badly to Luca. In this history, it wasn't Karin that started a rebellion with Seiron, but another OSF soldier. Oh. He's a known yeah. veteran. Oh, yeah. I recognize his face, but I don't think he's an equal to Karin. However, history is taking almost the same path. It's something that's beyond human comprehension. Oh yeah, I heard you've been having some trouble. The crows are all over you. It's my family. Now that Kaito is out of the government, the press has turned on him and are just saying whatever they want. Since I was part of the operation that got rid of the extinction belt, they've been hounding me. It's the same with you, right? That's true, but you have the advantage of being a Sumeragi. Public opinion in the press just latch on to what's easy to understand. Most people don't try to see what's really going on. Oh, are you actually worried about me? <laughs> That's not what I meant. I was just checking because it wouldn't be good if it got in the way of our missions. <laughs> I'm fine. It's not like I'm being chased around by the crows all day every day. Things will settle down eventually. Oh, but I might already be retired by then. I see. If you retire, you'll be a civilian. Weak. You can sit and watch me climb the ranks. <laughs> you don't change, do you? Though you're right. I won't be able to fight the others anymore. I won't be able to go watch the thunderclouds outside the city like we did either. Apparently, New Himuka's climate changed after the extinction belt disappeared. Hmm? We might get a chance to see lightning up close again. I wouldn't be opposed to taking you. <laughs> you can thank me later. <laughs> wow, conceited much? It would be nice to see them with you again. Wow. These two just turned rivals to bros. Aunt Alice is really nice. But there are still times I just don't know what to say to her. Oh, my mom and dad left a message. They told me to invite you for dinner. Oh, yes! Good one, Hanabi. It tastes better when you eat with friends. <laughs> it's just like when we were little. Nice one, Hanabi. Oh, I heard you put in your resignation. Yeah, I made up Come my on, mind. Hanabi. Once everything calms down and the OSF is back to business as usual, I plan to retire. So it's really true. Well, I'm sure there are so many things you still want to do. Do your best in your new life. I'll do my best in the OSF. I guess well, we should both do our best. <laughs> I guess that's a good summary. 
But you're right. I mean, I feel safe leaving the OSF in your hands, Hanabi. <sighs> really? I'm not good enough to say that you can count on me, and there are so many obstacles I need to overcome. But I'm confident that I won't give up. I know. It's not easy trying to live up to your ideals, but I know you can do it. Thanks. Just watch. I'll prove I can. And I'll be watching you too. Yeah. Oh, didn't you say you had something to tell me? I can't say yet. But be ready, because I <sighs> will tell you someday. Oh, come on, Hanabi. Once I become the person I want to be. What do you mean, be ready? I don't really understand. But I'll be waiting until you say it's time. Come on, Hanabi. Don't do don't do that to me when you just, you know, made a good move. I can't wait to <laughs> And to be generally honest, I can't wait to hear Tsugumi's. Yuito. Chairman Sumaragi, your father. This new history didn't change what happened to him. The sins of Togetsu didn't change either. I plan to atone for assisting them. I hope I can help with the dismantling of Togetsu as well. Are you okay with that, Kyoko? What are you going to do? I heard you were retiring, but what about after that? Oh, you heard already? Of course. I was the leader of Kyoka Platoon, so I'll hear things amongst the command. Right. For now, I'd like to do some studying. I also have to clean up the scandals around the Sumeragi name. Oh, then I might be able to help you, too. Huh? What do you mean? I also plan on retiring once things calm down. Since I'm testifying to what Togetsu did, it would only cause trouble if I stayed in the OSF. I see. I guess that's what it means to bring what Togetsu did to light. If I leave the OSF, there won't be anything tying me down anymore. I think I can also convey the efforts Chairman Sumeragi went through to protect New Himuka. But why? Even if you feel responsible for Togetsu, what my father did... Is Wakana being happy not a good enough reason? My mom? You mean when you were monitoring my mom? Yes. Chairman Sumeragi certainly took part in some inhumane activities. Even if it was allowed politically, he can't be forgiven. But that's not everything Chairman Sumeragi was. He got in the way of Togetsu. He was assassinated because he tried to protect New Himuka from Togetsu. I'm sure of it. The Chairman's merits and demerits should both be made public. That should be detailed in Togetsu's materials. I didn't think anyone would look at it that way. I'm glad. To be honest, I was a little depressed about it. Because some people say the Sumeragi family was controlling New Himuka for their own interests. My father and brother did some horrible things. That shouldn't be all. It should all be brought to light. I'll help you do that. Thanks. Even if it's the hard truth, I'll face it head on. Kyoko, you're strong. Alright, Watsuru. Well, the history we know only exists in our heads, right? I think we should make a memorial before our memories fade. I'm gonna write down the history that we lived in a historical novel. It'll just be fiction to the rest of the world, though. I'll need your help, too. Of course, I'll do everything I can to support you when you need as well. Just like always. Even if you quit the OSF, that won't change. This is just between us, though, okay? No problem, Watu. Haruka? I was thinking maybe I would apply for the Lunar Surface Survey Project. I want to see how people lived on the moon. Then maybe I'll sort of understand what Togetsu was trying to do. Telepathy probably won't reach here from the moon. I wonder if Wataru will cry because he misses me. I'm just joking. He might go. <laughs> Even without my power or SAS, I'm still connected to my brother and everyone else. It's like an ability that's more than a power. Hi, Kago, Tsugumi. It looks like the cryogenic sleep chambers stopped functioning when Babe went down. My old associates were taken into custody by the government. Well, they can't do anything without Babe anyway. I'm in a pretty bad spot, too. Well, I guess it's obvious they're suspicious of me as well. 
There's also the thing with Chairman Sumeragi. I'm on release without indictment, hunting others for now, but... But I'll probably be arrested soon. I see. Don't look at me like that. I know you want to say I told you so. I want you to pay for what you did, but I don't feel smug about it. You're one of us. Even if you did some bad things. Don't you find it hard to live with that personality? I managed to make it to 16 like this, so no. <laughs> That's true. So what are your plans now? I'll retire. I won't be able to stay in the OSF if I lose my powers. Besides, there's a bunch of stuff I want to do. Then come visit me if I get thrown in prison. I'd like to know how things are going and how Sugumi is doing. Okay. My brother might get caught too, so I can visit you when I visit him. Hey, am I just an afterthought? <laughs> I'm kidding. Besides, Major General Fubuki said that your sentence would be lighter because of everything you did to help. That's why instead of worrying about what will happen when you're caught, you should worry about what you'll do after. After that? I'm sure I'll be discharged from the OSF. I heard the Lunar Surface Survey Project will be going forward, so I'll probably help with... No, it's still a little too hard to go back home to the moon. I'll probably just stay here and clean up the Togetsu mess. I've been on Earth for a while, but I've done so much lying in my life. It might be good to finally live honestly for once. Then teach me about politics. Why me? Do I look like I'd be good at it? Weren't you the commander of the colonists? I looked it up after Kasane told me your real name. You're actually really good at politics. Oh man, it sucks to have so much information about you etched in history. <laughs> well, I'm tired living a life of lies. It might not be so bad being your tutor. Wow. Sugumi? Let's see. Come on, Sugumi. We're, we're at the end of the game, and I'm the waiting. The sky is beautiful. The sun feels warmer than before somehow. I'm waiting I'm waiting for you, Sugumi. Come on. I'm sure the animals are happy the extinction belt is gone, too. We have to put the hideout's potted plants outside sometimes. Kagura helps me with that. So... Did you help with the hideout's plants? Oh, yeah. Sometimes I put them out, give them water and nutrients. Was that bad? No. I'm glad you took care of them, even with everything that's going on. It's because I took what you taught me seriously. The spathophyllum buds are getting pretty big. I'm glad. Yeah. I'm just glad that they can bloom at the hideout. That's not it. I was glad to stay in your platoon. What? Oh, you mean when Major General Fubuki said he would reorganize us? Yes, I was a little worried then. Of course, I decided to stay in the platoon after some careful consideration. That decision was about parting with the OSF. I don't handle change very well. But you still came with us. Thanks. It was really reassuring when you decided to come. I need to thank you, too. You've given me so much courage. You became my friend and told me I can be who I am. Ah, you're making me blush. I barely did anything. I wish I could be in Yuito Platoon forever. But that won't happen, right? Yeah, I'm sorry. I won't be able to stay in the OSF if I lose my powers. And besides, there's a bunch of stuff I want to do. It's important to do what you want. It's a little unfortunate. But we'll still be friends, won't we? Of course we're friends. And student teacher. You're like the sun to me, Yuito. Oh? <laughs> what? Because plants need sun to grow. Even if you leave the OSF, I know you'll be working hard somewhere. That's enough to keep me motivated to grow. Then you're like the soil to me. The land, the earth. Even if we're not in the same place, let's do our best where we are. <laughs> let's have a competition to see whose flower will be prettier. I won't lose. 
Come on. Come on. Seriously? Again, Tsugumi. You, you're, you're at the point of literally saying it to him. Major General Fubuki is... By the way, don't... No, I'm good. I already spoke with everybody. No, I'm good. It's your turn now. Sorry for keeping everyone waiting. When's the last time everyone got together like this? I'm glad to see nobody's changed. It hasn't been that long. I've been so busy I actually lost track of time. Man, I need a break. That makes sense since you've had to deal with the media every day. Seriously, good work. It appears there hasn't been much change with the others in this area. While new others haven't appeared since the extinction belt dissipated, it's not like the ones already here just suddenly went away. Yeah, looks like I won't be retiring anytime soon. That's right. We need to keep protecting everyone. I heard they're going to change the other reports to a system that tracks them on the surface. It looks like things are going to start changing around here. Little by little. All right. Let's do what we came here to do. That should do it. I want to thank everyone for coming today to honor him. So we're the only ones who remember Karin. The world changed, but we weren't affected by it. Erasing his own existence like that? I never would have thought he had it in him. Maybe it was the price to change the world the way he desired. Although I'm sure he doesn't look at it as paying a price. Why do you have to go off and make me an only child? He will exist as long as we remember him. We know that he was here in this world. Yes. Yeah, but those flowers. Well, are you guys ready to head home? I wouldn't mind taking out a few others around here on our way out. Ugh, such the diligent soldier. Who in their right mind asks to do more work? <laughs> Yuito. How are your powers? There haven't been any big changes so far. I'll stay in the OSF a little while longer, then retire once everything calms down a bit. And after that? Well, I've got a lot on my mind in terms of what I want to do. It might sound conceited, but I want to change the world so duds like me have a place in it. I'd also like to face what my father and brother have done. I'm a member of the Sumeragi family, after all. And there's the other particles as well. Other particles? The extinction belt is gone. Yeah, but it's originally from space, right? It could appear again someday, since we didn't get it at the source. That's why I think we should study the other particles more closely, so we can eventually prevent, or even cure, metamorphosis. I had no idea you had so much on your mind. Does that mean you're going to get involved in politics? Sounds that way, huh? Although, I'm not really cut out to be a politician. Really? From what I've seen of you lately, I bet you'd be good at it. What, really? I don't know if it'll suit me, but I'm thinking about going to college. I want to study politics, and not because of who my dad was. I want to change New Himuka. You've made your decision too, haven't you? Yes. I've decided to go. There. to the moon we'll be pretty far away from each other but at least I can always look up at night every one of us is born alone 
But even though we're alone, we can connect with each other. Where we are doesn't really matter. Kasane? I... I'll keep living, no matter what. Oh... The little spark of his ear thing. <laughs> or she had the headphones on, but... Uh. Okay, so this one is, is um, different as well. Red strings for two. Yep. Wow, you look at that. I'm saving it here. Oh wow, it's in red as well. Cool. Yeah, those uh, I think for the weapons. Endgame content has been unlocked to complete both Yuito's and Kasane's stories. After finishing the game, when you clear both the, uh, the, Yuto, uh, the Yuto and Kasane story, your save will display the cleared condition. When you load the save data, you will be able to switch back and forth between the Yuito and Kasane story by talking to Yuito or Kasane at the hideout. Cool. That's where we get our mixed, mixed play. And that's the main story. Wow, I can't believe uh, that that's a journey. This is, has been an absolute blast of a game, and again, I only have a few last things to go through, and uh, yeah, I could talk. I talk. I can talk a little bit more now about my initial thoughts of the game, which um, this main story. I th yeah, it's actually well entertaining. It kind of paces pretty well and the character developments between one of them uh, between between them and each one of them is actually pretty good as well kind of gives you a good connection as well <laughs> I got I got like a bunch of few favorite characters in this in the series but overall the story's actually been pretty good and I've been like very interested in it and uh, you know I totally n do not regret for having to get my car and my eye caught into this game because I've been I knew this game from a very long time since it was I think announced I went the one it was about to release I think it was the um, I'm not sure if it was a teaser trailer for for, for um, just like a type of you know marketing for the PlayStation 5 or yeah I think I think it was if I remember correctly. No, 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 it wasn't. I th I, I'm trying to remember. <laughs> but I think it was. And since I was like, damn, this game looked good. And since then, I just kind of just, you know, kind of waited and that kind of stuff. And after all, um, just kind of went through my birthday. And I said, like, what do I want to get? And I thought about, the, uh, thought about this game and I got it. And... Look at that. An absolute blast. And uh, I genuinely enjoy this game a whole lot. The game, the game, and even the gameplay is so entertaining. Even though it's like... It's normally hack and slash games are so repetitive depending on what, what, who does them, uh, does them. But this game just does it really good. The combo and, and has a huge variety of combos by just, you know, depending on what powers you're using. And, and yeah, this game is an absolute blast. There's, uh, there's other things in this game that I won't be touching in this playthrough, which are the challenges, which, uh, RC, as you saw, it's, it's touching the part of complete the two stories in a certain amount of time, which those type of stuff I just do them off you know, my off time when I'm playing when I feel like replaying the game so yeah I'm just gonna enter 
and do the outro and the hideout. <laughs> See how everything is. A quest has been added. Explore each area to find people for uh, yeah the quest. Oh. So that you to the main character started the game and completed within 15 hours. Same as Kasane. Kasane did 28. You to did uh, 16. Wow. Here we got the vision simulation key. I'm trying to see. Wait, was it? Was there one? Hey, what? <laughs> that gives me one. That gives me two. Where's three? <laughs> Was it like one to be both? Most likely maybe it'll give it to me. Okay. Curious. <laughs> wow. Sure is something. <sighs> Look at everybody. Everybody's doing their shenanigans. She didn't. So yeah. If we mix electrokinesis with psychokinesis. Huh? You want to work our powers together into a combo attack? That's a great idea. It works. <laughs> Trust me. Stop talking like a damn toddler. It's not a combo. It's expanded tactical potential. Yeah, I think it's the same thing though. So yeah, um, I think that's pretty much it for this video because it's, first of all, it's kind of long than it needs to be. Uh, the, yeah, this, this episode has been quite longer, longer than it needs to be. So yeah, let's just speak with Kongoro and then I'll do the outro. Hold on, you mean to say you made this specifically for me? Yeah, I even went with your color scheme. Wow, such an eye for detail. Truly, I shall treasure this all the days of my life. <laughs> Much obliged. <laughs> it doesn't sound that bad, you know. Is it? Is it good attempt? So yeah, now we're in post game. So let's say next episode we'll be covering the rest of the quests that we need to do. I'm not sure how much I got them, and I think I've got an idea as well I've been thinking about, so... A part of that, I'm going to accept those quests. I'm going to go through the VR missions, because... I mean, e either from the... Each, you know... Human... Human Battle Seiron? Kikuchiba? Kuna Hype. Human Battle. <laughs> So this is Jupo cleanup. So this is like something else. So there's are like other stuff here we're gonna cover up. I think we're gonna cover. So that should be interesting. Kasani, switch. I guess I should talk to Kagero. Yeah, we already spoke with everybody here. Wait, wait, what? Oh! 
Wait, did we not cover this up? Or do I have to go through them all again because it's, you know, it's through Kasani's side? Oh, okay. So it is. So if I just do... Oh, oh, oh. oh my god. Don't know how to play. Oh yeah, so basically I just speak to everybody. So I can get their their stuff again. That is that is that the case? I think that's the case. Yep. Yeah, for that's for that. Yeah, Yuto side has that. But if I go to Kasane, for example, that happens. Free map. Oh, 1vp. <laughs> I already got 1pp. <laughs> so yeah, I'll do, the, I'll do these off screen and get the images back again. And yeah, like I said, next episode we definitely cover them all up. So yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, we'll do the last things do we have for the game. And uh, yeah, there'll be Scarlet Nexus. I'm very glad uh, how the series is going and can't wait to see it until the end through the end so you get it. so yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys the next time peace out